Hi everyone, it's Kim. I know it's been a really long time since I've put up a video. My apologies, but you know, life's been busy and I really wanted to keep stitching, but I was like, no, let's do the video and get it over and done with because I have a lot to show. I might even show some things that I've already shown before, but if you can remember what I've shown before, hats off to you because I don't even remember. But let's start off with um, a couple finishes, which again, I might have shown already, but it doesn't hurt to see them again, I'm sure. Um, I even have it framed. I just did it myself very casually. Um, this one here, this was done for my mother-in-law. I can't remember if this is a Stony Creek. It's, um, I should have had the pattern out. I might come across it and then show you guys. Shoot, I can't remember what it's. Um, I try to be prepared. Honestly, I did. <laughs> but, um, see, I tried to iron it, but I couldn't get it out. Anyway, that's that. So that's done. Oh, and pardon my background. I'm actually downstairs in the basement in my business section where I groom dogs. So um, I was here working earlier today and I was like, hey, the lighting is actually pretty good here. I wonder if I could um, set up down here and shoot the video. So I think that's what inspired me to make this video and to actually to get it done too. I wanted to try it out. And so far so good. I just threw this up uh, also being held by laundry detergent because <laughs> it's heavy. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay for you guys. Um, we shall see. And there's a lot for me to go through. Perhaps it's going to be a long video. I kind of hope it's going to be a long video because I've been watching Floss Tube and I actually really like the long videos because I, you know, press play and then I just start stitching and listen. And hopefully that's what you guys are doing too. And, um, thank you for letting me be a part of your stitchy time. <laughs> so... Okay, let's keep going. Um, so, oh yeah, when I was talking about the um, where I'm filming, if you see hair flying around, that's what that is all about. Dog hair flying around. Um, second finish was my snowman. I think I did show it, but it'd be nice to show it again because I haven't seen it in a while. But yeah, I I need to get this framed soon. I really do. I don't know if you can see the shine in it because it does have oh the blending filament or whatnot through it. Now there is a major error in this, but if you can't tell, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> so, but I did manage to finish it and to work around it and finish it. Yeah, so really happy about that one. So as for my whip, let me put that over there. I am a stitcher who pretty much does one project at a time. Um, even though I want to start other things I really want to finish this one because if I put it down, start something else, and come back to it in a month or two, uh, I just feel like it's going to take a bit for me to read the pattern again and be familiar with everything again. Because um, there's a lot of back stitching, which I love to do. Um, a lot of three quarter half stitches. Oh, but. Let me show you what it is. This is what I'm working on. Yeah, it's not the easiest chart to read. I've already found some mistakes where I've, good thing this picture is big enough because it's on 14 count that I could see, go to the picture and see, no, I think that's supposed to be that color or not. Like, because so, even sometimes the back stitching lines go over, go over the symbol and I can't tell what it is. So that's why I go to this and it's like, oh, okay. So. Get a good look at that. 
and I actually just took it off the Q-snap today and like literally stopped stitching, took it off because I, I got to make this video. So it is very wrinkled. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know how to hold it up. I'll just hold it up first so you can see. Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of almost there. I do still have some back stitching left to do. I have this corn to back stitch. This one's done. Um, I still have the girl a bit to do in her sleeves and her dress and the basket left to back stitch. I still have a thread hanging, I don't know if you can see. And a thread here, because this is literally where I was working on, was this corner here now. And her leg, that's where I was working. Now, I was working over here. Then, I noticed as I was working on the house, I am missing a line from when I did the white. I did the whole frame first, which normally, yes, those are taking a risk. I thought I counted and counted right, but for some reason I was off a line. So what I could do is unpick, let's say from the corner, frame corner things from here, and all the white in that corner, I can unpick all that and just go down a line. You know, I don't have to remove anything else. Just from here, the white, and down. Just, which is a lot of unpicking. And I'm not sure if I can reuse that thread because when I unpick it and use it again, it's not as strong. It breaks apart and it doesn't look right. Because over here, this was my only other big mistake. I had a little ones here and there, but overall not so bad. Not as big as... This one, when I was doing this blue border, again, I was doing that border first. And for some reason, over here, I, start, I had gone in one and I didn't notice. So I had done all this, all this, and all this. Good thing I didn't start doing anything else because I had started doing this banner. And when I got to, I was doing this gray, you can see. And when I got to about here, I was like, hey, that isn't lining up. So I looked, I looked, and I was like, aha, that's off. It was in or out. It was off by one somewhere. So everything was off by one. So I had to unpick this whole blue border, <laughs> which wasn't so bad. Like, kind of was bad, but that was the only big mistake so far. But otherwise, it's been okay. I've really enjoyed stitching it. This is what's been taking my time. But, so I thought, well, I thought at first, you know what, I'll just leave the line out. Basically, it's a step off the stairs, some flowers. It's really not that big deal. But then I thought, well, if I'm out here, because if you look at this picture, the ledger paper and the alphabet, I wasn't sure that line might affect other things. And then, how's that going to look? So I thought, well, let's go over here, do this first do all this here, see if I can make it work. If not, I will unpick that because it might annoy me. <laughs> so I might fix that. But I'm close to being done, very close. As you can see, just a little bit left to do. And then that is done. And then once this is done, sorry, I keep looking at myself because <laughs> I'm using my tablet. I have to remember cameras over there. So I'm looking at you guys. So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm using my tablet. Um, I don't know how long it's gonna film for, so I may get cut off. I'm hoping this will be a long video for you guys. But we shall see, I might have to do part two. <laughs> So those are what's been happening. So once that one's done, I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to start next because I have a few that I'd love to do. Um, this one I've had kitted up for a while. I did get this one. This is all also going to be a very collective haul since probably January or when my last video was um, as well. 
really fell in love with this one. I like the charting, although it's full one thing like this. Might have to photocopy it into separate pages so it's a bit easier, but I do like. Well, I'm going to show you. It's in color. It's in color and it's big. Very different from the other pattern that I was using. So I have that and I have it all. Oh, whoa. Sorry. Um, and I'm going to stitch that on Lugana 28 Mushroom. So I have that and I have all the floss and ready to go. So the thing about me as well, I'm not very organized with my floss at all. It's everywhere. When I'm done a project, I just throw it in a basket with the old pattern. Like I might start being organized now, but this is from when I've been stitching years ago. Finish the project, then the floss would be like, eh, don't need that anymore. Throw it in the basket. It's just, it's all mixed up. And I generally don't like to use old floss when I'm starting a new project. I like to use fresh, new, clean floss. So I buy all new when I start a project. Um, you know, I work a lot and I guess I'm able to kind of do that. Um, but I only do it when um, the floss is on, not, well, it's never on sale at Michael's, but when I get a 30% off your entire purchase at Michael's, that's when I buy floss. I'll write down my list of a pattern, write it all down, and I will get all the floss because the floss is 49 cents, I think, at Michael's. So with the discount, it comes to 34 cents. So that's basically like three for a dollar. So that's pretty good. So I just buy, that's why I buy the floss then. I may not do that project then, but if, it's, if I can get 30% off of it, then I'll do that. So that one is all kitted up. Another one I have kitted up is over here as well. Is um, this one? It's called No Vacancy. I'm, uh, I don't know who this is by. I got this a long time ago. I actually got three of them. They're actually kind of like a set. These are raccoons. The other ones are have like bears climbing up a tree, and the other one is owls, maybe. I can't, I can't remember what the other one is. But uh, I thought of doing this for my dad because, well, I mean, not that this is a nice story, but, you know, I grew up on a farm and, you know, my dad used to hunt. He had dogs and everything. And I remember going out once with them into the woods hunting and, you know, he had coon hounds and hunt. And so I just thought of this immediately when I saw him. Um, anyway. And I just want to find out, Louise, oh, I'm going to show you, uh, is it backwards for you? It could be backwards. Louise Gregory Originals, Petite Point. Hmm. But when I looked at the pattern, it's full coverage. I was like, oh, okay, interesting. And it's like a, honestly, I'll show you, like you can get that much from that pattern. It's a handwritten kind of pattern, which is kind of annoying, but I think it's distinctive enough that it'll be okay. And there's a lot of the same color, because obviously it's, you know, neutrals and browns, and I could see this going quite fast, actually. So I got that one all kitted up. Hope the fabric will work. I just had this in my stash. I think I cut it right. Who knows? There should be enough, but I think it's a 28 count something I've had in my stash. So I didn't think I needed white. I thought, well, this should go fine because there's all sorts of browns and blacks in there. That should be fine. And again, I have all the floss because I got it when it was on sale. So, and when it's on sale and you're buying know that much floss it really is only like gosh it's like under 20 bucks so that's not that bad I mean I haven't really invested or tried into specialty threads so maybe then that will get costly yes but for DMC I find it not to be that much 
um, in no particular order just because things have been everywhere. If I looked flush, it's because I've been going up and down the stairs trying to collect everything because I have some crossed stuff downstairs in my craft room and some upstairs because when it comes in the mail, I just kind of keep it all tucked together upstairs. And I'm like, where is that? And I'm, that's why I'm, I feel flushed. <laughs> um, I did order this as well. Can't remember from where. Maybe Stony Creek could have been on sale. Um, who else did this one? Freddie, I think. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do this for my husband. He's been waiting for something for a long time. Actually, he's been waiting for an eagle, but he likes wolves too, so I'm sure this would be fine. So hopefully that would go easy. And one more thing I ordered. Um, this is from, I'm going to say Pyrex Stitcher. It's either Pyrex Stitcher or Palette PC. But I think it's Pyrex Stitcher. When I saw this one and she was starting it, I fell in love with it. Um, I love the coloring. I love the way it looked. But funny enough, though, other designs that he's done, I, I'm not quite quite into. It might be another one I like, but this is I like this one for some reason. Um, and so I looked for it. It's obviously out of print because it is a 1994 Dimensions kit. Um, I know you're all like, show it, show it. <laughs> um, but yes, everywhere was out of, like, you know, not available anymore because they don't have it anymore. And so I found it through an Etsy shop called Golden Threads. Golden Threads used to be a store, and I think um, Megan, Megan May May, or sorry, I forget what, Stitching, Stitching May, um, she had ordered from there once too. But anyway, Golden Threads used to be a store in Hamilton. I went there a few times, and then... Um, they did close down, and then I finally moved to Hamilton. And I was like, oh, nuts. And I was literally like three minutes away from them, too. I was like, oh. When I finally gotten back into stitching and stuff like that, they're, they were closed. And, but she has a, still an Etsy, Etsy shop, so I could order from her and be like, pick up. But she, And she had this one, and I was like, wow. And it was like free shipping in Canada. I was like, oh, okay, well... Because of my work schedule and craziness, I, there's no way I could probably fit in a, a pickup. So I thought, well, if it's free shipping, just ship it to me. And it's this one. The Dimensions Macintosh Mill. Oh, that's probably glared now. Let me pull this out. I just really like this one. I cannot wait to stitch this. I might start this one, actually. The only thing is, it comes with the, and it's 18 count, which, you know, I like. 18 count Ada, that's pretty nice. The thread is not sorted. I'm not good with sorting thread. The colors are too similar. I might try it, but it's been a while since I've had a sort. But the colors are so... <laughs> so what I might do is maybe convert to DMC and then, and then just buy new thread. We shall see. Oh, I'm just kind of noticing now there's bundle one, bundle two. So that might help with sorting it out, actually. Anyway, very excited for that one. I paid a lot for it, probably because it's rare. That was the word, rare. But like I said, I've been working so much. Um, you know, I was able to do it, so I didn't mind. So, really like that one. Another one I got, um, Stony Creek. I really like Stony Creek patterns. Um, is this one? Words of in inspiration? Yeah, inspiration. I just love fall colors. Um, yeah. Just love fall colors. I really, well, I love, I love them all, actually. Um... Yeah, but I like that one too. And this is on the back. Actually, I think they're the same. So I think that's what we got. So just really like that one. 
Um, a long time ago, I know I, I think I know I showed this one before, but the Abbey, I have this pattern. This looks pretty easy to stitch up too. And I think um, Jellicles Forever is doing this one. Yeah, so. Um, okay. Another thing I can't wait to start is um, I had um, the Pattern of the Month series from Stony Creek. I had gotten all these as well. So I have them all. Um, and I want to do it like this. So I have the fabric. And this is, I think I, yeah, this, I did show this on my video. But anyway, this is linen. Never done linen before, so that's kind of exciting. Got all the threads, the buttons and all that stuff. Oh, I feel like I'm out of the light. So, and I have the hanger. So, it's going to be exciting. So when it's done, um, because I don't sew, I can cross stitch, but I don't sew. Um, my mom's a quilter, so she's going to help me make it into the wall hanging. Which will be gonna, which is going to be very nice um, or fun because I've never, I don't have a cross stitch wall hanging. They've all been either framed or framed, <laughs> nothing else. So that should be, that'll be fun. Though I'm kind of scared about it getting dusty and stuff. So that's the only thing why I like things and framed in glass. It keeps it clean. Um, just a quick overview. I did end up buying this one, I think on Amazon. Um, because someone on Cross Stitch and Discuss did this one. Yeah, I think a lot of other people <laughs> sought out this book too. But I really like that one. And all the carousels are nice. It's, um, which one is it? Oh, it's not in here. I think the summer one. Where's the pictures? Oh, it's right on the front. It does have like a, an America themed one. Sorry, I'm Canadian, so I won't be doing that one. But it's cute. Very cute. Um, now this one, I was thinking, maybe I should start that Stitch Mania orange, orange is black theme, because this would be pretty, pretty perfect for it. And I do want to do this one. Look at that, orange and black. Isn't that neat? I really like detail and leaves and swirly things. I, I really do. That's why I really should try doing um, a black work one because that's basically what it is. So I, I know I would enjoy doing that, but I would enjoy doing this too. That's going to be a lot of work, but exciting. Okay, uh, I got this one too. I thought of my parents, my mom, because they have so many birds around their place. Just something quick to do. Um, I had gotten fabric from Stony Creek, I think. So I thought I would do the birds on this. Um, the other stuff here I think I've shown before. Um, nothing too exciting there. Okay. Other stuff. Um, I think I bought this at Michael's somewhere because it's 18 count. It was like three something. So I can't, can't beat that. So just keeping my stock and I got an eight by eight. Use my coupon for this. Um, I did pick up one of these when they're clearancing them out. I can't remember the price, maybe four something. Don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I thought, well, for that price, that's a pretty good price. It's the variegated color. So yeah, who knows what I'll do with it. I've never really done work with variegated. And also when this was clearance too, I got those out. Color variations. The price is pretty good. You never know. Okay. Um, I, I can't remember if I got this from 123 Stitch or Stony Creek, but there was a, a sale on Butterfly, uh, probably 123 Stitch, because there was a sale on Butterfly themed um, things, kits or whatever. So I thought, oh, this is cute. Let's just get that. It wasn't that much. So it is pretty cute. It's 18 count. I'm trying to see what size. I'm thinking like 5 by 7 or something. It does not say. But 
It's okay. And another thing I got that was on sale, and it was actually, I can't remember if it was backordered or not, but someone else, of course we all enable each other, but someone posted a picture that they finished this, and it was pretty gorgeous. There are specialty stitches, which I've never, again, I've never attempted to do, so trying new things, so that's good. Uh, it's this Dimensions Flower and Lace kit. I think the specialty stitches are, is the borders. Lace, you know, yeah. And looking at it now, those are all French, French knots. <laughs> I have not perfected those yet, but I think my, my problem always was before in the past was I was, because back, or French knots is part of backstitching, let's say, when you're doing all that, I would be, your backstitch is one strand, right? So I would try to do French knots when stranded, and it just wouldn't work. So I would get, you know, frustrated and not want to try it. And then someone said, no, use two strands. I'm like, oh. So I think I did try it two-stranded, and it did go better. Not perfect, but better. So I haven't yet tried it again, but I think that was my problem. I wasn't doing two strands. So let me just get rid of some stuff. It's still filming, so that's good. Because I want to also show you, my husband goes to, whoa, sorry, he goes to thrift stores more than me, and um, he did find me some stuff, so that was very nice of him. He did find this Busilla kit. Um, it has been started, maybe mostly half done maybe. Maybe I'll finish it. I don't know. I've never really done someone else's work and finished it. So, you know. And I don't know if it came from a smoking household or whatnot. So we shall see. But I oh, can't really see. Sorry. But it's just um, a Bible verse. You know, it's cute. And he found lots of fabric for me, so that's awesome. It's all 14 count. Um, I'll probably wash it before starting on it, or I'll use it for like um, ornaments or cards. But yeah, he found lots of remnants. Um, yeah, lots of uh, fabric, really big pieces. So that was pretty good. Good find for him. Oops. And I came across these little things that I did a long time ago when we were living in my grand my, my parents' apartment, the granny flat. When we were first married, we lived in there. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's where I did these. So that's almost 13 years ago. Um, this, because I was going to make cards. There's that one. I think I had to wash it. There's, there's something there. Um, I need to wash all these, actually. Snowman. And this one. I love dogs. And these kitties. I did have one here, but last year I did cut it out and make a card from it. So, what I was thinking was, maybe if this video works, I'll make a card and kind of do it as a tutorial for you guys to show you how I make my cards because I don't buy pre-made cutout cards if you know what I mean. I do everything myself because I'm also a card maker so I have lots of tools and other things. So if you're interested I was thinking about doing a video the process about how I make my cards because I know a lot of stitchers out there I see the cards that they make you know they'll either stitch around and then fray the ends that kind of looks cute and then they'll just put that right on the front of the card which for me I like this to be inset um if you know what I mean oh, it's hard to explain but um I don't like this just right on the front of the card like it has to be in a window let's say um, a cutout shape, basically. So, 
I was thinking about doing that. It won't. Um, yeah. Okay. I think I've gone through mostly everything. One more thing I want to show you. Something that I came across um, maybe a month or two ago. Um, it's always been in the back of my mind. But where did that piece go? Because I started cross-stitching when I was... Oh my gosh, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe my mom started me off with plastic canvas. I remember making this pencil case tube, pencil case holder, had a plastic canvas. So I started with that, I think, first. Oh, teeny bopper age. Um, and then probably early teens moved into cross stitch. There was this one big piece I remember doing, and I made a mistake, I think, on the deer. It was off, and I either didn't know how to fix it or I didn't want to unpick it and then I just set it down and then that was it you know other life things were going on and it just got put away and I found it and I was like oh goodness <laughs> how my work has changed um, in more ways than just um, quality because for one I don't do this anymore. No. And it smells. I need to wash. Unfortunately, both my parents were smokers at the time. And, well, that's where I lived too, right? So that's where I had to stitch. And, yeah. So even right now, I can... I don't think I smell smoke, but it's just you know, musty or because it's been unpacked. And it needs to be washed. So just forewarning you that. It is a nice piece. I don't know if I can save it, because again, yeah, so it's this one. I did a lot on it, and I just, I do love it. Only God can make a tree. I don't think I have the picture here to show you. I, I did find the pattern and thread, but I don't know if I have the picture. <coughs> but yes, I remember doing the deer, and I think a leg or something was off-counted, and didn't know how to work around it or fix it, so I just put it down and then, then that was it. But I remember working on the scroll work and I really liked doing that. So even from then, I liked doing back stitching and fine detail stuff. So I know I will definitely like doing um, black work stuff. So. I cannot wait to get the tax off this and this soak. And we shall see what that what happens. I don't know if I can save it because again down here, because I've had to restretch it, there are hole marks. I don't know if I can save this piece. And looking at it, you know, stitching isn't that great, but yeah, bring back some memories, but uh and when I pulled it out, I was like, I found my needle minder. I was so excited. So I cannot wait to wash this, wipe it up, and put it on my current whip. Because I've been missing putting my needle on a magnet. I've had another loose magnet around just to put my needle on, but I wanted one there. Which I know I, I should order some needle minders, but I just haven't. But yeah, that's a blast from the past. I just wanted to show you guys. Yeah. So I think that's it. That's it and all my current works and current plans. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I really, really hope that this will upload okay. We shall see because it's very long. I um, I know my last video was actually a really short one about some handmade cards that I did. And that uploaded okay. And then I found out that um, for a day or two, for a couple days, I was like, why is no one commenting? Like, is it that bad? But it, it turns out it wasn't made public. It was so bizarre. So after I upload this, I might have to go in and make sure or change that it goes to public. So I don't know why it just doesn't do that automatically. So maybe it's a setting thing, but I don't know how to do that. Okay, so... I'm going to tidy up and get back to stitching because I want to finish what I can tonight. Oh, but I do have to do laundry. Don't want to, well, 
not use that so bad because I just throw it in, start it, and then I go back upstairs to stitch. Okay, have a good night, everyone. Bye for now.